the art form itself is essentially a psychedelic uh, visual art form because it has dimensionality, dynamics, and a lot of imagery. And the imagery, of course, uh, lends itself to psychedelic uh, perception. They're like complex Rorschachs because the essential idea is as simple as a Rorschach, an inkblot test. It's symmetry and you fold it together and it makes a design. Internationally renowned artist Courtney Pollock began working in tie-dye in 1968 and soon he was creating huge backdrops for bands like the Grateful Dead. Today Courtney lives in Powell River and is still creating these amazing works that he calls origami fractal art for the connoisseur of color. It's uh, essentially it's like origami. That's a geometric fold and clipping in, the, in its simplest form and it opens up like a daisy chain and there's a whole bunch of diamonds or little people or rabbits or something. Um, and uh, so it's, it's um, similar to that. I used to call my art form origami painting uh, to try again to try and describe the method. The method involves a complex series of folds tightly tied into cells that are then filled with color by dipping into dyes. I don't like to duplicate anything so I'm always going to throw in different elements that are going to change it a little bit because I, I don't want to ever make the same thing twice even if it was possible to exactly do it. Um, I don't like to do that, I want every piece to be unique. You do a, d a day's worth of dyeing, uh, folding and dyeing, the next morning I get up and open all my new stuff and um, see what I've got. So I look forward to that most every day that I have work to open uh, and then uh, I go, oh, I really like this effect, or that one, or that, uh, those color combinations. And then I dive in and I do some more, and then do some variations on that. And uh, it just keeps me, it keeps me pursuing, you know, the ultimate, the ideal, the one that's like, oh my God, that's it. It's the best ever, it's perfect, nothing could improve. Well, of course, it's, you know, it's always in a state of evolution. I think my passion for it's even greater than it was back then because I have, uh, my vision has expanded. Back then I just wanted to tie-dye the world. And it was about the color and the sensation, and yes, the technique was, was original, unique, and ex you know, extraordinary. And of course, a year or two into it, I went out west uh, to um, the San Francisco area, and within 24 hours I was commissioned to, to work with the Great for Dead doing their stage stuff. Uh, so, you know, I had a great showcase for my work, having it on the stage. I mean, it couldn't have been better. I was truly blessed with uh, um, having them as patrons. I decided that uh, this is my mission. This is a gift. This, this is a God-given talent or a universal gift. And it's my mission on this planet. That's why I'm here. I'm the only one that does exactly what I do. Uh, therefore, I am privileged to do it. And so now, the passion for doing is better than, more than ever, and the work is better than ever. I'm going to continue doing what I do for as long as my hands hold up, as long as I can keep doing it. I encourage people to dive in and have fun with it and see what they come up with. And you may just find you have a great talent that you didn't know about. Um, it's, it's, uh, it's very rewarding, and, uh, and I love it. It's my life's passion. Yes, thank you. And, ta-da!